Hi, this is Michael from Southern Fire Guitars and welcome to the Quarantine Files. And in this video, I'm going to show you a little different way to install your tuners into your cigar box guitar. So join me in the workshop. You coming? Let me first start out by saying cigar box guitars, what's good about them is there's no rules to building them or to even playing them really. You can build them however you want. If you want to make them out of popsicle sticks and rubber bands, you can do that. So if you build them, just have fun. If you play them, just have fun. That's all I'm saying. Now back to installing your tuners in your cigar box guitar. Now what I have here is a piece of one by two. This is poplar, but it doesn't matter what you're using. It's just uh, to demonstrate the end part of your neck. Um, what I usually do, what people normally do, is something like this at the end of the headstock. So I'll go down about an uh, eighth of an inch, maybe a little more, and they will take this top part completely off, which will leave more room for your tuners to be installed. And it would look something like this here. See how I went down on the headstock and kind of thinned it out like that. This one doesn't have a separate fretboard. The frets are right onto the neck. Or if you have a fretboard, separate fretboard, something like this to install your tuners. That's what uh, that's the normal way most people make them. I'm going to show you a different way that I think is pretty cool. I'm going to show you a paint can lid resonator guitar I recently finished. Uh, I did do a video on it. If you didn't see it, I'll leave a link above to that. But I'm going to show you uh, the neck on this one and how the tuners were installed. Here's that paint can resonator. came out really nice. I really love the neck on it. It has an oak fretboard. And this is how I installed the tuners on this guitar. Now on this one over here, I did cut the headstock down an eighth of an inch to install the tuners. On this headstock here, I did not do that. I countersunk the tuners into the, into the headstock. And I'm going to show you how I did that. This is the neck I'm working with right now. It is a an oak neck and a poplar fretboard. Here's my slanted headstock. You can see I didn't notch it down at all. That is just the board with a scarf joint. So what I'm going to do is, and you can put your tuners anywhere on the headstock you want, of course. Doesn't matter where you're going to do that. But on this one, I'm going to go up about an inch and a half from the fretboard and I do have this set at an inch and a half. My neck width here is an inch and a half. And I'm going to set that about right there. And I'm going to put a hole. I already put two holes there, but I'm going to show you how I did it. I just put a hole about three eighths over. And I went three, three eighths over from that side. And put another little hole right there. And then I also put one up here, three eighths over. And put another little mark there. So I have two marks here and one here. This is the style tuner I will be using on this guitar. It's a closed gear tuner. And this will go underneath the neck, of course. And then this little washer will go over the top of that. And then the nut goes inside. Now, over here I have a paddle bit, 9 16 which is the same size as my washer. And that's the size hole I'm going to put in the top of the neck. I have the drill press set with a depth right there, which will be about an eighth of an inch, maybe a little bit more on my headstock. This is the headstock that I marked, and I'm going to just go ahead and drill the holes.
this is what it looks like right here. I hope you can see that. Now I'm just going to drill out the holes all the way through using a 3 8 drill bit. Now I've got the 3 8 uh, drill bit on the drill press and I'm going to go all the way through the headstock. This is what the headstock looks like after all the holes have been drilled, top and bottom. And now I'm going to show you how I put the tuner in. The tuner will go in just like this from the bottom. This side, the washer, then the little nut goes on top of that. This is a 10 millimeter nut. We'll go on just like that and you have to put your little screw in the back of course which I will do that after my neck is finished I think that's a pretty cool way to install tuners on your headstocks now is that the only way to install tuners on your guitar absolutely not it's just one way that you can use to have fun with your cigar box guitars if you like videos like this, please hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss any. And don't forget to like and share the video. My name is Michael, and we'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to check out some of my other cigar box guitar videos popping up over here and maybe over there. See ya! Mm -hmm.